dope. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, Turkey Alashik has come on and says he's now negotiating to uh, make Terrence Crawford versus Canelo Saul Alvarez, right? Uh, he's negotiating to make that fight happen. Um, he says I, he's trying to make it happen for January 2025 or December, late, I think late 2024, early 2025. He want to do it in New York, Vegas. Or LA, um, the common thing that he get is why he ain't trying to make the Benavidez fight. Benavidez is not his fighter. Terrence Crawford is his guy, so uh, Crawford is not tied to a promotional company. Um, we got to remember that. Yeah, he's not tied to a promotional company. Um, yeah, Benavidez tied to Al Heyman. There's too many hoops and and, and holes to jump through with Al Heyman, um, you know, Benavidez already said that he may not be allowed to go over there because of Al Heyman. So at the end of the day, you know, Al Heyman has the fluidity to allow his guys to go do what they want to do. All you got to do is just charge your fee. But he refuses to do so. That's the crazy thing about it. He refuses to do so. You know, he want to keep building up whatever he got going on. I hate getting behind people who don't know how to turn. They be waiting for the perfect opportunity to turn. It ain't one. He should have been turning right there. Boy, I tell you, man. They be talking about people in the city that can't drive. These motherfuckers can't drive. Yeah, I was going to go right around your dumb ass if you didn't turn in. Boy, women can't drive, bro. They should be illegal for them to be driving. I'm sorry. A lot of them, it should be illegal, bro. They can't drive when they're young. They can't drive when they're old. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> man, I know some women that can drive out there. Some, some of y'all. Most of y'all, especially in suburbs, drag. But nonetheless. Um, so, you know, being a B-Dad, basically, you know, it ain't gonna happen. So, you know, Terrence is his guy. That's the fight Terrence wants to happen. That's the fight that Turkey Alashi gonna make happen. Now, he did go to Benavidez to try to make the proper fight. And Benavidez said he couldn't get down to the weight. So he said, I can't make that weight. And I got a fight coming up. So Al Heyman is, is just gonna, he gonna die with the lie. He gonna fail with the system. He gonna fall with the failed system. FFFFS. Fall with the fail system. So there ain't nothing, you know, too many people can do about it. it. It is what it is at this point for him. Um, you know, obviously we'd love to see the Benavidez fight. He said he won two hundred million dollars. Who putting that up? And he, you know, according to Eddie Hearn, he still ain't bored about fighting Terrence Crawford. So from all, all we know, the Crawford fight ain't gonna happen. When you talking about risky for the biscuit, that ain't what Canelo in it for. Somehow he ain't nowhere near close to retiring. If these fighters stuck together, man, they, they just do anything for a dollar. If they said, you know what, man, we ain't fucking with uh, Canelo. Don't nobody fight Canelo, you know, until he get realistic about fighting real opponents. No, nah, they can't stick together. They can't even stick together on performance enhancing drugs. Some people cool with it. Some people ain't cool with it. You know? Like I said before, if you we can't if we all can't agree that performance enhancing drugs is wrong, I mean, why are we even why are we even why are you even considering making a rebuttal video to anybody that's cool with performance enhancing drugs? Why are you even entertaining entertaining them? Why do I care what you say? Why do I care about your opinion? If they cool with Tank and Canelo ducking, but call, and they say, well, this guy needs to do this, and man, why why? It's, it's insanity. You're insane for trying to reason with them. That's trying to reason with somebody in a straitjacket. No. Do I want to see Crawford and Canelo? No, I don't want to see that shit. But I'd be happy for Bud. If that's what Bud want to do. He got an opportunity to, to snap himself as the greatest fighter of his era and make a bunch of money and go into the sunset. So be it. I'm happy for him. If he win, he definitely considered one of the greatest fighters of all time. Somewhere in the top 10. Top 20, maybe. I mean, 
I, I wouldn't even consider how he did it flirting with the top five. But obviously, he got to get past Israel Matamar first. I got to do some film study on him. Maybe I'll post it on the Patreon. That'd be a good one. You know? So, we, we got to see what Israel Matamar brings to the table. We all dismissing him like he ain't shit. You know? But, nonetheless, you know, Turkey Alashi gonna push for his guy. And when you push for a fight for a guy like that, that make other people wanna 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 sign with you and work with you. That make other people wanna sign and work with you. So that's what's up. So you know, hey, if that's what Bud wanna do, hey, I'm for it. Bud done done enough to go up there and get a fight that he, that he really want. I really believe that. Bud has done enough for that to happen. Bud has done enough for that to happen. So, uh, you know, everybody, oh, I've been a deal. Well, he don't want to fight. He don't want to fight Bud neither, don't look like. And I don't anticipate Turkey Alice, she can come up with good money. Man, Canelo just don't want to fight nobody. And the pay-per-view numbers is proving that people don't care. That's what the pay-per-view numbers is proving, that people don't care. You know? That people don't care. That 520 he did between the zone and prime, even if that's the real number, that's still a pathetic-ass number. That's more like 350,000 people who walked that fight. And that's probably a stretch. Canelo is done. He cooked finito. He's cooked. It's over with. They want to keep throwing money on Canelo. They wise up and get smart. They wise up and get smart, throwing money away on Canelo. They will wise up and get smart. So, but said he pushing for that blood fight, man, and you know, you know, L.A., Vegas, New York, late this year, early next year, very early. So, I heard that Canelo wanted to come back in December. September, December, so why not? But he he fear, he 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 fear fighting anybody that can walk a true buffalo. I just I don't know how you people say he a Hall of Fame fighter. I just really don't. He he, the, he just getting in on. He just got a lot of you know Mexican privilege, not just Mexican privilege. He, you know because he looked a dis, he looked like a distinguished Mexican, he, he regular Mexican. That's just what it boiled down to. If he looked like regular Mexican dog, man, he'd be lucky to be a world champion. He wouldn't even be a unified champion. Because that, that talent ain't shit. Real talk. And a lot of his fights, man, allegedly, you know, niggas that took dives and shit. Man, been hearing this shit for years, man. Golden Boy, real shape. Going back to them days. So, you know, just, you know, what I'm hearing, what I was hearing, but um, it is what it is. I just feel that uh, I just feel that uh, you know, if he ain't gonna fight Benavidez, said nobody support this shit no more. You know, real talk. He trying to fight Berlanga, and I didn't order William Skull. They scored order William Skull, Skull, but they can never order Benavidez Morale. This shit is corrupt, man. Just like I talked about the other day about uh. Maybe the other day for y'all to be like an hour or two ago for me, but Crawford and uh, not Crawford, but Tank Davis and uh uh and Frank talking about the WBA put a new rehydration clause in. Looked on the website, one shit involved about it. One shit on the website about it. You know, they be trying to cover up and make certain fighters look bad. Boxing is following the money too much, bro. That's the honest truth. Boxing is following the money too much. Listen to me. They following the money too much. That's all they doing is money, 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 money. That's all they care about is money. And that's why the sport the way it is. They can say the boxers don't have control. Cool. Everybody trying to protect the interest. And like I said, the PBC model is the nickel and dime, nickel and dime, and then get to a big fight and lose. And then it's a wrap. They never get to the pinnacle and win. At all. 
They never get up to a, a big, massive fight and, and they get over the hump. And it's like Oscar, Floyd and Oscar, and now Floyd is in the game. Which he's saying Holiday in. Ballet looking like he in the game and must be winning. <laughs> never. Even with Ryan and Tank. I heard somebody say, well, the Frank and Tank tickets almost sold. Man, them niggas gave them bitches away. Ain't nobody going to that shit. Them niggas gave them bitches away. I'm telling you, bro. A lot of them was comped on high rollers and giving away. Nobody, nobody watching that bullshit, man. I care about that fight like that for it to sell out like that. Get out of here. Believe that if you want to. Believe that if you want to. We got some names on there. and Fulton no longer on the card, but we'll see, man. But hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video financially on the sports channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, check out the Patreon. Appreciate that. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Peace.